everyone, my name is Greta and I have a video on one of my favorite houses, Fragrance Dubois today. Ooh, I love this house. And I have probably the best giveaway ever. And thanks to the help of Fragrance Dubois, it's open globally. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. So about nine months ago, I did a house overview on one of my favorite houses, Fragrance Dubois. I covered 17 fragrances, which is the vast majority of that house. There were a few that I didn't have decants of that I wasn't able to include in the video. So this video is supplemental to that to cover those and also a little bit of an update and to address some of the things I've heard about the house. So let's get started. The first one that I have here is Oud Blue Intense. That is one that I really wanted to try. I'd heard so many great things about it. I do find that one to definitely be masculine. I wore it and kind of felt silly wearing it. Like it was a blatant men's cologne on my skin. My chemistry ha just reacts that way with anything that leans masculine. It smells really masculine on me. So if you watch my channel regularly, you will see that. And I, I do designate for the most part if I feel something leans masculine or feminine. So Oud Blue Intense is really cool because it is like this paradox kind of like it's oud but it's blue and how they do that is fascinating because it does have this freshness and almost aquatic feel to it yet it's an oud and it has that depth it has that longevity it has that projection the oud is more of a base it is this fresh fragrance that has that airiness to it almost like this lift to it yet it has that base that's maintained there the entire time. Comparatively to the other ones in the house, I do find this to be one of the more linear ones. It doesn't change as dramatically as some of the others that are in here. And it is so, so good. And it is really hard to explain because it has that freshness to it. Um, <laughs> It's incredible. It's this fresh masculine feel to it. And it gives an incredible sillage and projection to it where you're like, what man smells amazing right now? It smells so good. So the next one is Oud Vet Intense. Now, whenever I hear Vet Green, I get a little nervous because I'm not a green lover. When it comes to green fragrances, there's very few that I like. I'm very particular in the type of green because greens have never really worked on my skin if they're any kind of grassy green kind of a thing. So I was a little apprehensive and that's why I didn't try this one the last round, but I did this time and I was so pleasantly surprised. I love this one, like more than Oud Blue Intense, which I really like. I wore them both on each arm and yes, I smelled absolutely like a man. People were asking who, what man smells so good. Awkwardly, it was me, very awkwardly, but everybody liked the Udvert better. Now the Udvert doesn't use like this green grassy notes in there. It also has that base of the Oud in there that gives it that longevity in the sillage. But the way they do this green kind of vibe Gosh, it opens with the bergamot, which gives it this really like nice citrusy blast. But that dry down, man, gives it this green impression in this like green, uh, in this like Irish spring kind of way that Irish spring gives you this like green vision. It gives a green vision, yet it's using these beautiful spices and like nutmeg and coriander and you get that geranium in there, which to me is a very spicy flower. It has this spice to it. I'm very picky about my geranium too, but that combination and the ginger gives it this like lift to it, I think. Because that ginger stays in there too. 
but it gives an impression of green. It's not a green fragrance, which is what makes it so unique and so cool and so enjoyable to me because I don't like a lot of green notes. I'm very, very particular. I like when green leans woody and like balsamics and I like green fresh, but I don't like green, grassy green. This also has those woods, like a combination of woods in the base. So it's this like woody, spicy, fresh with a lift to it. It's so incredibly good. Yes, very masculine in my opinion. Really good. The next one I think is really misunderstood. Oud Rouge Intense. Now, Oud Rouge Intense opens very different to its dry down and it definitely goes through stages. So if you judge this in the first 20 minutes, maybe more, you're not gonna like it. There's a chance you won't like it or you're really going to misjudge it. It opens to me very leathery. Let me just get a, another one with the top notes. So Oud Rouge Intense to me smells different than what I see in listed notes. So I'm gonna tell you what I get. So to me, this opens with leather, a beautiful leather, like a, a delicate French leather. I don't know where that comes from, but I definitely get leather. And then it goes through this second stage, like 20 to 30 minutes later. Where's my strip? I had to wear this to really understand and I was blown away by it after I wore it on my skin. It then like brightens up a little bit. I think you get that pink pepper in there, giving it this brightness and it goes through this like transition stage where you're not quite sure, or I'm not quite sure what's going on there because it just feels very transformative. And then all of a sudden it's this gorgeous, sweet, woody, not a like cloying sweet. There's a sweetness to it. It's got this like vanilla woody sweetness going on along with that depth. It also has less projection at that point, but it's also the most intoxicating stage to me. It's crazy what happens in this fragrance. Definitely stays unisex. I think the opening can be Unisex with a hint of masculine because of that leather. I think some people, you know, some women might be initially in the first five minutes like, oh no, that's not for me because it just it has to go through that little process and stages. And then it, it turns into, oh my goodness. It's incredible after 30 minutes. It's, um, it's so good this sweet woody oud and the ouds they use in Fragrance Du Bois is bar none. To me, their best fragrances are the collections with the oud. They really do hammer their quality of their natural, natural ingredients and the oud that they use is the best oud that I've seen and I've tried a lot of oud fragrances. I really like this one. Um, it's that patchouli that gives this one a little bit of that freshness to it. I don't know where that sweetness is coming from, but to me, it's this hint of vanilla in there when it dries down. And it's not so much that the vanilla takes the center stage. It's enough that it just adds some sweetness in the patchouli, but it's, um, I really love that stage. The next one that I really fell in love with and will be the next purchase of mine is Oud Violet Intense. I don't know why I never gave this one a chance. Oh my goodness. If you like violet, this one is amazing because it does have that violet protection. It has that violet powdery sweetness to it, but with the Oud. So it's not quite violet candy. It's... Um, got that violet vibe to it, the violet powdery sweetness to it, and that base of oud that, man, it's, the oud is in the background on these. Like when you smell them, you really get what they say, the blue, the vert, that 
rouge, you really get uh, the rose, the orange, you really get that up front with this oud that is exquisite at the base that just kind of lures you in a little bit. I love this one. Um, if you like violets, violet is, I think, very unisex. I think women in particular will love this one. It's um, it's surprisingly good too. It's amazing how this house, how Fragrance Dubois uses oud and makes it so incredibly versatile. And they are really able to truly give these different vibes while staying true to that exquisite oud that they use. But this one again, the magic's in the the magic's in the dry down. It's the opening. Um, let me see here. Let me get another strip. When you first spray this. It takes like three minutes. It's a little confusing on the first blast. A little like contradictory what's going on. You've got that LMI going on, the citrus blast, the pepper. It's just, it's a little like, whoa, wait two minutes and it all of a sudden you get this vanilla coming out. You've got the violet coming out already. And it just, and it just gets sweeter. And more and more of that violet comes out and the tonka bean giving it a creaminess to it versus too much powderiness. It's not your cliche like um, Guerlain Insolence. It's not like that, like just violet and just violet candy. You do have that ambery influence to it, the tonka bean giving it creaminess with that violet still taking center stage but it just gives it this more um, rich and decadent kind of feeling to it versus your cliche, just plain violet. I really like this one. The last one is Minuet at Demi. Oh, this poor girl. This one took a beating at its launch. It, I mean, it. this poor girl and this fragrance took a beating because the launch was a little bumpy. They had shipping issues. It just, it was, you know, it was, you know how it was. And all that shipping tobacco, I think really jostled a lot of bottles that needed to rest. My bottle included. The bottle that I received when I first sprayed it, I just, I couldn't get any fragrance from it. I could smell it on paper a little better, but I just couldn't get anything on my skin for a while from that bottle. Now it's beautiful and perfect and I love it. It's very gourmand. You have that contrast of the cardamom and the caramel with the vanilla and this coffee that really stays there the whole time. And the longer I have my bottle, the more rich it gets the more intense the notes in it get, the better the longevity gets. It honestly improves with age, which brings me to the point of that. I've, I've seen this house get some grief, people saying, oh, there's been reformulations, look at the change of color, look at the change in how it smells. As somebody with a pretty significant collection from them along with bags of samples from discovery kits that I have gotten, multiple discovery kits that I have so many of them and from different years I have these fragrances that I can tell you from my experience, they're the same. They are the same. What happens is they age really well, especially once you spray it and it starts to macerate. Maceration is a real thing and it really affects these with their natural ingredients that I see the, the color intensify. Some of these are definitely from after people have started making complaints of reformulation and I just think it's hogwash. Like, that's ridiculous. There's no reformulation. It is still the same product. It just gets better with age. Uh, it's, I've seen it with my fragrances. I've seen uh, Sahara also. The first time I tried it nine months ago, Sahara to me was really deep, dark, and intense oud, almost too much for me. Um, I think I compared it to like, no, I didn't. It was, for me, too intense. I couldn't pull it off. It was really an intense oud. And putting that same vial on my skin, like 
three months later, all of a sudden it had smoothed out and it was incredible. Now when I spray it, I spray it and I get like this chocolatiness from it. It's, oh, let's move on to Sahara. Yeah, let's do Sahara. Let's do Sahara again. So Sahara, and it is, I know it's one of those weird ones no one knows how to spell or say. Gosh, yes. So this one, I mean, they all do better on your skin. And I get like this, yeah, like a chocolatey oud is what I get. There's nothing stanky or skanky in any of these ouds in this collection. Man, this is, it's, it's like a gourmand oud when it opens up. And then dries down and you have more of a hint of this like vanilla chocolate kind of oud with a little bit of spices going on in there. There's this hint of rose that kind of gives it annoyance. And this is one where the oud is a little bit more of the center stage compared to the other ones in the house. The other ones, you really get that flavor on top and the oud is in the background, but present. Sahara, the oud really takes center stage and then all the other flavors are kind of around it in the periphery where you have this chocolate influence on it, this vanilla influence on it, this rose influence on it, but it's always about that oud, that sweet decadent oud. It's not a jammy oud, it's a dry oud. It's, um, it's not overly sweet, but there's this nuance of sweetness to it so that it's not too dark and dry. I think this is their best offering. I think Sahara is their superstar. This to me is fire. And look at this nice golden ambery color to it. I mean, it's just stunning. And there is an amber to this too. So you have that amber going on. You've got that saffron giving that like earthiness to it like this dry earthiness to it, the pepper giving a little bit of spice to it, the vanilla giving that sweetness to it. It's really interesting how to me, it really does open with more of a chocolate influence and then that kind of gradually turns into a vanilla influence on it. But it's just, wow. It's dry, it gives a beautiful sillage. It's just one that you really have to get your nose on. And with that, hmm. So Fragrance Dubois was incredibly generous here. They let me pick what I wanted to give you. I wanted to share their absolute best offering in my view, which is Sahara. So the giveaway is for a full bottle of Sahara, which I think is stunning and definitely in their upper tier collection, their highest tier collection. So this is what you need to do. So this giveaway, full bottle, Sahara, fire, their best offering by far, by far. I wanted to offer this fragrance because I think it's their best one. I love my subscribers. I love to share what I love and Fragrance Dubois was amazing and generous to help me with this giveaway, to donate the products and ship for me globally. That way we could do it globally because I don't have that capability. It's very prohibitive for me to try and ship a fragrance globally. So they are helping me with this, which is amazing. So this is what you need to do. What you're gonna do is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit all notifications because YouTube can be a little scutch and will not tell you about videos. And you're gonna make a comment down below, Sahara is fire. That's what you're gonna do. If you want extra entries, you can go over to Instagram, to my page there. I will have my Instagram up here. Also in the description box will be a link to my Instagram. If you have Instagram, that's why it is extra entries. I know not all of my subscribers have Instagram. I'm not here to make you go make an account. This is where the primary poll is going to be from. Those are extra entries that will be added in. 
So you can go there for extra entries like Fragrance Dubois. If you're not already, I don't know who wouldn't be. Follow me, follow Fragrance Dubois, and again, comment Sarah's Fire. I will make another post over there that you can comment on. And I'll add those entries in. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah.